Well, thanks for joining us again for the Meet a Senator segment of the newsletter. So today I've invited my good friend, Senator Laura Reinbold, to join us. So Senator Reinbold, you're new to the Senate, but you are not new to the legislature. You've, you've been involved in the House before. Tell us about your district. What, what area do you represent? So it's a beautiful area. I've got Chugach State Park. So that's, it's an amazing area. We've got Highland Mountain. It goes all the way to Birchwood. And, and then we circle back around and we, get, we, we pick up the Army, so on the Jaber and some of the Air Force. And then we actually even have a, a portion of uh, Muldoon, let alone all of downtown um, Eagle River. Wow, that's great. Mm -hmm. So you were pretty involved in the community before you came to the legislature. What kinds of things were you doing uh, before the legislature? Well, that's a great question. I mean, I could get into the professional experience of health care and education, but I'm going to jump just to my political activism and my community enthusiasm in the community. Our house got broken into in 2000, and that's actually what sparked my whole interest in personally getting involved in politics. So I got involved. I was the vice chair of our homeowners association, and I started Crime Watch in our community. It took three years to get everybody on board in the community, but I was determined to make that happen, and so that was my first step. Then I've gone all the way up to, um, in 2010, I was on eight boards and committees and subcommittees trying to get stadiums, road improvements, lights, trails, and I was just so involved, I said, you know what, I might as well just do this full time. The opportunity where redistricting happened, so I jumped in on 11 one because I wanted to be first in the race, so um, I was very strategic how I planned it, and, uh, and thank goodness Eagle River Community rallied behind me and served in the house for six years. Wow, that is quite a journey to the legislature. Mm -hmm. So now you're in the Senate, mm -hmm. you've moved over from the House, and you are chairing the Labor and Commerce Committee, yep. but you also serve on State Affairs as well as Judiciary Committee. So, so what are your goals, what are you particularly working on uh, this year? And, and with you on resources. Responsible oh, that's true. I forgot about resources. Yep, I love on that resources. committee. So yes. uh, responsible resource development, state affairs, you know, to, to address the um, broad issues like the permanent fund dividend and crime, judiciary, vice chair of, of judiciary, because public safety, I believe with all my heart, is, is the most important government mandate. And so that's really important. And then um, I love uh, labor and commerce. I think it's, I served on that committee in the, in the House uh, for three years. I was vice chair. So I think it's a really important committee. And uh, what we've been doing um, so far to this point is we have uh, heard from women and entrepreneurs in Alaska. So we're the number one in the nation for women and entrepreneurs. We had Penware, so the Pacific Northwest uh, Economic Region. We also um, have had uh, an international tourism there. So I followed my lead, Senator Mia Costello. We've worked together on having a really good introduction to labor and commerce. I'm really happy she's the vice chair. And uh, then we've gotten two appointees through already for labor and for commerce, for, for uh, the designees uh, for commissioners. And now what we're doing is we're vetting the next uh, week or two, we're gonna be getting a lot of the board's appointees through. And then eventually we're gonna have uh, meetings on licensures. And if there's anything we are going to, anything the state can do better to get licensed quick, quickly. So Alaskans wanna to get to work. So our motto is Alaska's open for business and Alaskans are ready to work. So we wanna make sure that we, we, if there's any issues that we need to do with licensors that we, that we address that. And finally, um, one of the most important things that we're doing is um, if we're working on several different uh, uh, angles of this, but how crime is impacting labor and commerce in Alaska. Very good. You have taken your interest, which was crime, right? Mm -hmm. And you're bringing it into the business arena and the neighborhood arena. Um, that is excellent. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for joining us today. I think um, certainly my newsletter viewers are going to enjoy meeting you and knowing more about what your goals are. Thank you. Well, Senator Gisela, I want to personally thank you too. Uh, this is a very hard job, and I think you are really, really doing an excellent job getting all of us in order and running a very efficient Senate. And I really wanted to say thank you. It's a great opportunity to be part of this body. Well, we have a great team. Thanks for joining us today.